Ooh. What? What? <laughs> wow. Wow, guys. You, you guys just won't believe what I'm editing right now. Right now, I'm editing a low light test I was doing out with the A7S in the dark light. I'm talking about moonlight. Well, there were a couple of street lamps around me, behind me, but that was it. It was pitch black. I recorded the Sakura Garden that is near my house. It's a beautiful place in the spring when the Sakuras are in full bloom. But right now, it's dead on, middle of the summer, so it's just green. It's just pretty much green and that's it. But at night, it is dead. It is so dark. There are no lights whatsoever, no lanterns or lamps. It's pitch black. And the A7S could see through that darkness. I don't know how. It's just pretty cool. And what's even more amazing is that without any noise reduction feature, I could still edit ISOs as high as uh, as high up as 409,600. So just let that sink in for a second. ISO 409,000 and in LumaTouch, I was able to clean it up to the point that it's quite usable. And if you don't believe me, let me just show you this quick reel that I did an ISO reel test that uh, just I just went through various ISO and don't take my word for it just watch and stick to the end of the clip because I'm going to show you how to clean up noise using Luma Touch. all right so let's roll the clip yo guys voice over me just cutting in to let you know that what you're watching right now is what actually my eyes saw this is what you will see if you will stand in this park at this time at night pitch black but from now on, you're about to see what the A7S can see and also how well LumaTouch can fix the noise. So enjoy the show. So what do you guys think? Pretty unbelievable, right? 
I mean, if I didn't show you the before, you would have never guessed that that was ISO 409600. How do we get it so clean using just LumaTouch? Because I mean, everything was edited. This whole video is going to be edited in LumaTouch and then just export it, import it into YouTube. And here we are now. You're watching me in the future after I'm done editing this whole thing. Anyway, so coming back to the present time where we're gonna edit this and you're gonna see the final product is, I'm gonna show you how to clean up noise using LumaTouch. And all you gotta do is actually quite simple. Let's head over to our, our clip. So down here at the bottom, we have the before and the after. We double click on the clip. It brings up to the editor page. And here we got four times we got our the frame and fit we got the speed volume and we go to colors and effect and tap on original all we gotta do is just play with a couple of times in reality we just need to play with the gamma and the levels and that's pretty much it just play with the gamma and the levels so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna increase the gamma actually just crank it up to 2 2.0 and you could already see how clean it gets. It just adds a little bit of contrast and it cleans up the noise quite a bit. Another thing we could do is go to our levels and then we're gonna play around with the mids, which could be called the gamma, I guess. This is also part of the gamma or contrast. We're gonna increase our mid tones. And look at that. It's already looking pretty clean. And if I was to play this, the noise is pretty low if you ask me we could even get a better so we get our darks and play with it see what you like i actually like increasing the darks a little bit and play around with the gamma and the contrast and this is looking pretty good i'm gonna be honest with you guys we do lose a little bit of detail but that's fine because we're gonna bring back sharpening uh, if you use a lot you know you could bring up the contrast also actually let's go ahead and do that just tap on the contrast a little bit and it helps a little bit but yeah we really don't need to do much with this just play it around with the levels and the gamma and that's it you're all set after that just play around with the colors get your white balance correct uh, I'm gonna increase the blues all the way up bring down my reds a little bit lower my greens just a little bit there we go we don't want to go too extreme this is about right right there there you go now we have a nice clean image that's how you do it guys it's pretty simple uh, just play with the gammas until you get an image that is really clean. So you just play around with your levels until you get something you like. There we go. I like this. LumaTouch is getting really awesome. I mean, now we could play around with S-Log files. We could add logs. And of course, with the latest update, we can even select multiple clips. It's just been improving awesome. I just need two more things out of LumaTouch. If we could get stabilization feature and also a noise reduction, if we could get stabilizer feature. Oh man, I'm telling you, LumaTouch will be that. Forget Final Cut Pro. This is it. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this quick how-to, how to reduce noise in uh using luma touch and of course this also greatly depends on which camera you're using i am using the low light king but this principle of playing around with your gamma and your contrast should work with most cameras and of course most recent cameras are do great with contrast so you shouldn't have much problem improving the quality of your footage so if you guys enjoyed this quick how-to, I really appreciate a thumbs up. 
thumbs up will do just fine don't forget to subscribe because i'm going to show you guys how to do all the tutorials in luma touch and if you're wondering about the little animation thing yeah i did that right here in luma touch thanks again for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace